Well, here I am with the Husqvarna after it splashed down. What I think happened is I had it in neutral, which is right here. Well, first I should start off with telling you that I recently swapped the hydrostatic to a six-speed spicer. Fully swapped. So, I ended up having to, and I didn't have the correct linkage to make it over here. Right now, the duct tape's over it to keep mud from flinging up everywhere. So then I ended up cutting a slot right there and putting a shifter right there. What I think happened is the belt slapped the shifter. And it shifted it over into gear while I was idling. And it took off and jumped. It actually jumped into the pond. Because it was in like third or fourth gear, I think. And it jumped into the pond. And then it flipped upside down. And, well, it was completely underwater. Only like that much of this tire was sticking up. I don't know if you can see that piece of light. About that much of the tire was sticking up. So this was completely underwater. I pulled the spark plugs right after we got it back up here. Just because then I drained the oil. About, right here's what was in it. And about that much of it was water. So it definitely got some water in it. Half the oil I drained went onto the ground because it was flowing everywhere up here. But I think it'll run. I pulled the float bowl off the carburetor already. Actually, that's not even on there. I pulled the float bowl off the carburetor. And there wasn't any water in that, surprisingly. I don't know how that happened. But there wasn't any water. And I'm pretty sure it didn't suck in any water. Because um, as soon as it hit the water, I think, it grounded out spark plugs on either side before it could get any water in the air cleaner or anything. And it killed it before it could um, suck any in. So I think I got lucky with that. But there's definitely water in the oil. You can't see it right now, but... And it was full of oil, too. I think I still have the gas. I don't think it has a bunch of water in it. No, it don't look bad. So I think I'm good with lot, er, yeah, with water in the gas. So I'm gonna just see if I can like put everything back together, make sure there's no more water in it in any places, and I'm gonna see if it'll start back up. Let's hope it will. So, I've got oil in it. Air, I don't need the air cleaner or anything back on, but I got the box in because that's what holds the carburetor on. I got plugs in. So, I'm gonna, and I've got some carb cleaner in it to help it pop off. And I'm gonna see if it'll start. Hopefully, it will. <laughs> Try choking it now. Oh. Quick tip if your um, can runs out of pressure, you can step on it and it'll put more pressure back in it. It'll run. <laughs> Actual starting fluid and see if I can get it to run a little bit longer. That's my clutch. <laughs> so it will stay running, so. Now I just need to get gas, go into it good, and then it'll run, so. Okay, so, so far, I've drained the gas out of it. I've replaced the fuel filter. And here's a look at the old one. You can see a little critter of some sort from the bottom of the pond. 
right there. Bunch of dirt. Something right there. But that's what surprised me is that like little worm thing. And then right here's a look at the old gas that it drained out. It ended up having, it did end up having water in it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a line, if it would focus. But there's a line right in there from the water at the bottom and then the gas is on the top. And I've got the float bowl drained. I think I might have already said that. Um, and I've got some new um, gas in it with um, some seafoam. So I'm going to see if it'll start up and run on its own gas. The revival of the Kawasaki 18 horse V twin. So, apparently, this is a really good motor. If it was completely submerged underwater, water in the gas, um, water in the oil, a lot of water in the oil, and it fired right up and ran. So, here it is. It does about 20 mile an hour with the pulley swap. I yet need to put that one brace completely back on, but there it is. Then the seat folding down was part of the um, carnage, I guess, from it going under water. That made the seat fold down, must be, or something. Because this straight, this bar came out that just fell out. So, anyway, that's what it was. That's why it fell fold down when I was over there. But anyway. Thank you for watching this episode of Big's Outdoor Extreme, and I hope you enjoyed. Also, one last thing before I go. Um, if you want to fully understand what happened and how we got the mower out of the pond, go check out the last video that I uploaded, because that will be of removing the mower from the pond. So, thank you for watching.